Hello, hello, how are you today? If you're like me, you are like running around with it like a chicken, the head, head cut off, like just don't know which way to go, go this way or that way. There's so many things that's going on this time of the year. And so I'm gonna just kind of talk a little bit about that. All right, I am the founder of Unleashing Your Genius. I am the creator of Raising Motivated Learners uh, Facebook group. I'm also the creator of the Empowered Moms Raise Confident Teen Tweens Experience. So I was just a few minutes ago um, wrapping gifts back behind me. I've whisked them away, you know, and getting myself to the post office to put them in the mail. And I was just thinking all the crazy things that we go about doing during this season, during this time, right? Um, it's all about do this, do that, do this, do that. And we forget about the being, the being. And I get it because when I first heard this, I'm like, well, you have to have the doing, don't you? I said, yes. But first, think about the being. The being is like how, how you are um, being in yourself. Like, are you confident? Are you consistent? Uh, some other being words would be connected, like heart connected. It's all the emotions. And I've already talked about women, mothers, moms are the leaders in their family because we hold the emotion. We are the ones who can then make decisions from the emotional place as well as our head place. We got both going. We can do our head, head knowledge, and we can also use our heart to feel, to to test the waters, to figure out, like we can see and hear and feel what's going on with different family members, you know, where are they coming from? Are they upset? Are they nervous? Are they scared? Are they happy? You know, excited. So we pick up on those emotions because we do that, right? And so in the doing of Christmas, holidays, whatever that you celebrate in your home, Stepping back, taking a step back from the doing and take a check, take a look at your being. Your, are you being loving, passionate, patient, which is a big one, um, calm? Are you in, are you a rigor? You make a decision, you get it done immediately, or are you procrastinating? And, or are you caught up in perfectionism? What is your way of being and how does that presenting in your in in your be in your body? How does it present? Does it present as being calm? Does it present as being manic? Is it does it present with running here and there and everywhere? Well, guess what? However we are feeling, it projects onto our family members. Um, have you ever noticed that if you are, are in a, if someone comes into your space and they're in a bad mood, you kind of <laughs> take that on yourself. You become, geez, a negative Nancy, kind of in a bad mood as well. I'm like, well, where did that come from? Or if you yourself would be in a, a negative Nancy and complaining, um, you know, I apologize if anybody's name is Nancy watching this, um, it, but you're in that complaining mode, and don't you rec don't you recognize that all the other people start complaining around you? And it just kind of goes south from there. So we are connected. Humans are connected. We can do that in our, you know, in our world. Um, we are all connected. And whatever source that you uh, think about and believe in, the, the God, universe, whatever, we're all connected. And when somebody is not feeling, uh, if somebody's feeling a negative or rushed mode, we take on that. We can feel it. We can notice it. We recognize that. It may take some practice, but if you just notice people when you're out uh, shopping, you know, and are there people that are like impatient or can't or upset because they can't find a particular present or a gift? It's a matter of just let it be, you know, just hold it, hold it back and just be in the being and enjoying the family enjoying the season and whatever happens it happens the way it is you know it's just is and I just let things happen and during this time also some of our older kids are doing are taking finals 
for their exams. Perhaps they, you know, have a final coming up. We have kids that are in college and we have finals uh, going on and that can be a stressful time for them. So, and, uh, you know, I don't know what, what, what you're like or how you're like with your kids. Um, if, if your kids are, well, if your kids are struggling, um, with, uh, with learning and it's a difficult, stressful time for them because they have to take a test now. Um, and they are stressed out about that or they feel your tension like, oh, I hope they do well on this. It's going to, it counts in their grades and it matters. Yes, it does. But the way that we are feeling or showing up projects into our kids. So if we show up in that calm, non-committal, just, you know, how can I help you? And I love you no matter what the outcome is that happens with your, with your final or your test or whatever. It's okay. And that I love you for who you are. And when you portray that and give that space to them, it helps them to just chill. Helps them to calm, to calm down. Just be who you are and we'll just, you know, we'll take, we'll take a look. And then when they are calm, then they are able to do, to do the, the studying, to ask the questions, to ask for help. And when they are asking for help, step in and say, hey, how can I help you? Then you are in the doing of helping. But the first thing is to be and then the do comes after. That's like the mechanism, how, we're, how we are being. And then we do, and then we have. And so it's like, it's the first thing, instead of jumping into the doing, think about the being and how important that, that is, not only for you, but also for your family, for your, your people around you. There are, you know, kids that are excited because they get out of school at the end of the week. Um, some are nervous because they have they are take they get to take exams, um, and some are hesitant because there's going there's uh, like there's a change that's coming. They've gotten to the routine, and then now a change is coming for the next couple of weeks, and or you know it's just so many different emotions that are going on. Take them all in and show up as that calm that calm calming force for them, and that patient and the you know, believe in them and that connection of love that they need right now because no matter what state that they are feeling or how, how they are feeling, the love is the most important thing, that they are accepted, they are enough. And, you know, and they, no matter who they are, you know, that you love them no matter who they are, or let's say not no matter how they, who they are, but also and whatever the outcome is, you know, that that's happening. So when you think about um, your family, when you had, you know, had Christmas and your grandparents and your family and so forth and so on and generations before, was there a lot of that doing this stuff? For me, it was in my family. It's big meals were being prepared, Christmas tree, everything, all the gifts and all the running around. And as a little girl, I saw all this and I'm like, why? Why do we do all of this <laughs> crazy stuff, right? Um, because we only just, we get to just take it all down in a couple of weeks. That was me. That was my practical mind. Like, what's the, you know, what's the point of putting all this up? And we're just going to take it down. <laughs> Where my sister was like, oh, I can't wait. This is so beautiful. It's just wonderful. I love having the tree up. I love, you know, and my mom too. But I was always like, well, what's the point? We're just going to take it down again. <laughs> So, um, sometimes I do, can, I can get into that, not wanting to do the doing, but just be, right? And I have to tell you, the past two Christmases, my family, half my family wasn't even here. We don't have, we don't have extended family that live nearby. Um, and it was just me at home and my daughter popped in and out, you know, through this holiday time. And I thought, you know, we're just gonna hang some ornaments from the from the light, and I'm not gonna even worry about putting up a tree. So my tree has not been put up for the past two or three years. It's remained in the closet. It is artificial, um, and but this time it's gonna get to be put up when my daughter comes home on Friday, um, and I'm really excited because 
she is all about getting the tree up because it means a lot to her. In fact, her room and, that I'm in sometimes and her dorm room is stays decorated for Christmas all year round. <laughs> she loves Christmas. And so she's all about, Mom, will we put up a tree? And I'm like, yeah, you can help me. Okay, I'll come home and I'll help you put the tree up. So, but my being is just allowing whatever happens, happens. And it's not all about the tree. It's not all about the um, all the decorations, but it's the, the love and the being and why we celebrate Christmas with our families. Um, and so that's just a take for that. And I know, you know, drop in the comments down below if there's a lot of doing that's going on in your family. No, no shame, no judgment at all whatsoever. Just laugh, you know, at all the doing. And I love that um, one of our members, Christy, had written that she had a lot of activity going on between um, November and February, a lot of activities of celebration, and that she's choosing to stay in the calm. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. It's totally fine. It's great. I loved her comment on that. That was really great. If you haven't seen it, go into the group and, and look that up. And um, I just love that her being is calmness. And so we do have that choice. When things are swirling around us, we do have that choice to just take that deep breath, sit back and say, okay, what is the being that I want to have? What's the emotion that I want? to portray and I want to give to my family and once you have established that then you can do the doing and that's fine the tree gets put up and but you're coming from a different space a different place from a calmness and that that permeates out to your family as well as those who are taking exams it gives them that calmness as well so I am going to sign off for now and if you have any comments about being versus doing versus you know having the be do have model i would love to hear your comments and how are you being right now when you know you have the school year coming to a close or not not a close, but a vacation for those of you who are in australia and other parts of the country you guys are heading into the summer break um you know how are things at this point in december uh, how are you know are, are are things frantic are you feeling frantic are you feeling relieved are you feeling excited are you feeling like i gotta do a lot of things i'm not gonna be ready <laughs> right so just let me know in the comment and just let's have fun with it so i'll talk to you all later bye